going into one-on-one -on -one tournaments and they all made it to the finals. These three made it to the finals. And uh, the way this was going to work is going to work a slightly differently. Now, the judges in the first round will get to decide who stays. Right? You guys are still making a noise and you guys decide who you think did a better, but they ultimately have the say. Right? And then in the second round, it wants to go to the judges, but you guys might be able to influence them who wins overall. Because we're going to eliminate one person after the first three jokes, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, our grand finalists since September. Let's make some big noise for these people. Please go on the stage. Craig McLeod, Tom Whitcomb, and Corey Fernandez. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so the way this is going to work, it's going to work slightly differently than the other rounds. We're going to start with the mics. First on you. You will start first. Throw your jokes towards Corey. Then you hand the mic down. The jokes go to Tom. And then it goes to Craig. You guys, you know how to do it? Yeah? Yeah, you got it? You need a mic stand? No? no? All right, now, are you guys nervous? Because we've got five hundred dollars on the line, which I do have to pay tonight, which I kind of pissed me off. But that's gonna happen. Five hundred dollars on the line. Three jokes each. We eliminate one, and then we go to two more. All right. So, judges, on appearance, who's gonna do it better? You guys want to stand in front? On appearance, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Corey, Corey, whose car did you steal to get here? That <laughs> Craig, uh, Craig, Craig actually, he's, he looks wise. Craig looks like he still jacks off in VHS porn. I think he might. <laughs> Although Tom is a, I, Tom is my dark horse because Tom looks like he commentates high school tennis matches. <laughs> I think it's an intelligence that Tom's got and Craig's got a little bit. That's it. But Corey can be the outside. I don't know what you think. Yes, very interesting, very interesting indeed. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, so there, so there, yeah, it's great. Uh, I, I got no idea what's going on here. I didn't really know any of you before this, but if I had to guess which one of you was Corey, I would have guessed. Just a feeling. Uh, Craig, you, you look like a turtle brought to life by the I think you're gonna get it. I think, it's, I think it's all for you, buddy. <laughs> oh man, I'm really looking forward to this battle because you got like Tom and Craig here, and it's like the before and after to a drug addiction. <laughs> <laughs> and you got Corey over there, which is the reason for the drug addiction. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm looking forward to this battle. I reckon, uh, I reckon Tom, he's got those serial killer eyes. I reckon. Ooh. <laughs> Two for Tom, one for Craig. No votes for Corey. All right. You guys, who do you think's gonna do better? Makes me always think Tom Wickham's gonna do better. Yeah. Makes me always think Craig McLeod's gonna do better. Yeah. Makes me always think Corey Fernandez's gonna do better. Yeah. We know who brought the audience, okay? <laughs> All right, now, the, like I said, we'll go, we'll start this way and we'll move the microphones down, all right? Also, I should mention, I saw a couple of people filming before. You are free to film this show, it's fine. All we ask is that if you're gonna upload it, use the hashtag RoastBattleAU so we can find it later, okay? You're allowed to film this, it's completely fine. All right, so, you guys ready? Yeah. Final battle, you guys ready? Yeah. start by thanking Corey for violating his parole to be here this evening. <laughs> As part of Corey's sentencing, he has to spend two hours each week at the local police station helping police sketch artists practice drawing rape suspects. <laughs> As you can tell, Corey is mixed race. And uh, mixed race people are often very good looking, and clearly Corey is no exception to this rule. He has the muscles and the physique of a European model. Unfortunately, this is, um, I fucked it. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is combined with a cock that's comparable to a 12 year old Asian boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, Tom is 
a rich white boy. But um, Tom was also that nerdy guy at school that kind of looks a bit cute after school. I'll say it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll suck his dick if I want, anyway. <laughs> As a result of that, Tom lost his virginity at a pretty old age. If you don't count fucking your sister. Now, <laughs> Tom has been to more abortion clinics with his sister than the lesbian protesters that look like Tom. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, Tom went to a private school, not Strammer. Not Strammer is in the top five private schools in Sydney, unless you're talking about covering up kitty fiddling, then it's number one. <laughs> the cost to get anonymous, anonymously fiddled at Knox Grammar is over 30 grand a year, which is chunk change in the Whitcomb household. They would quite happily pay a six-figure sum to cover up a decent fiddle. <laughs> Uh, it takes a lot of preparation to get a comedian like Craig at this venue tonight. Uh, for starters, you have to get permission from every primary school in a 10k radius. Uh, Craig said to me before the roast, he's actually very nervous about tonight, which is why I assume he brought along his pool cleaning fuckboy for moral support. <laughs> Craig works in the Navy, which I find is fucking hilarious, knowing that a guy that looks like a sperm is an actual seaman. <laughs> Craig used to do loads of drugs before the Navy then swapped that with loads from his seaman buddies on the ship. Craig McLeod, there are more layers of seaman to your life than the inside of a confessional box at a Catholic church. <laughs> uh, guys, um, I actually feel a little bit like the odd one out on stage tonight. You know, actually, Corey's known Craig for almost 20 years now. Uh, they actually met when Corey was just a little boy growing up in the Philippines, and Craig was a strange man on a sex tourism vacation. <laughs> up in a rural part of the Philippines and his childhood was just like the farm he grew up on. He spent it getting ploughed weekly by his uncles. <laughs> As you can tell, Corey is an individual. He was one of the first people to get a sleeve tattoo in his family. He got it because he heard tattoos make you look tough. Corey likes nothing better than going to Bondi Beach in his speedos, showing off his muscles and sleeve tattoo, then kicking sand in the eyes of children who have bigger knobs than he does. <laughs> failed to make an impact inside of her vagina. <laughs> Tom's girlfriend would have a better chance of falling pregnant if Craig McLeod went up there instead. <laughs> the only pounding Tom's girlfriend will receive is on her eardrums after she Tom loses his roast. <laughs> As you can tell, Tom is an NRL fan. His club of the Roosters. His favourite player was Mitchell Pearce, who as a rooster famously simulated a sex act on a dog and urinated on himself. Tom wanted to recreate these wacky and hilarious antics at his family Christmas celebrations. But he was a little too drunk and he got confused. Instead he peed on his dog's head, then jerked himself off during dessert. <laughs> Much to his parents' delight. <laughs> that was that was a good one, Craig. 
think maybe uh, slower and less funny next time. <laughs> shit on him in front of a room of strangers. <laughs> Craig actually confided in me, he said that uh, this was the most positive thing to come out of his life since his last HIV test. Let me talk, let me talk, all right. Uh, Craig, you look like Tom Mookham in 15 years if Tom was on chemo for cancer of his cunt brain. <laughs> Button had fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> Some say that 50 is the new 40, however, Craig is living proof that 40 is the new fuck my life. <laughs> well, this is probably my last one for Corey, so. And to make it average. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, we'll go with this one. As you can tell, Corey's parents are divorced. <laughs> um, to quote Corey, his dad is a fruity performer. His dad left when Corey was 10 because Corey wasn't camp enough. He went travelling around Southeast Asia singing at the most popular ladyboy bars Asia has to offer. When Corey did become camp enough, his dad wanted him to join him. Corey declined though. He said, I may be as camp as Eurovision, but I'm a hetero Westie. I've got meth to sell and seed to sow. I'm the black town equivalent of John Travolta. <laughs> As you can tell from Corey's sunken eyes, protruding forehead, permanently glazed over his <laughs> his general struggles with the English language, uh... <laughs> Corey's a fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> Corey's so dumb, the only A he got at school was hepatitis. <laughs> Corey's so dumb, for until recently, he thought you'd get pregnant from swallowing cum. It cost him a lot of embarrassment and a fortune in home pregnancy tests. <laughs> Corey's so dumb, Corey, I don't know which is lower, your IQ or Craig's white cell count. <laughs> can stand up, he comes across as a pretty dark and mean human being, right? But there's a soft side to him. He also sings and plays the guitar. <laughs> you can sort of think of Tom as a Justin Timberlake of Sydney comedy because he's that annoying white boy that won't just stick to the one thing he's good at. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to even fucking finish that one. That was fucking dog shit. Alright. <laughs> Final one, thank you. As you can tell, Tom used to be captain of his high school polo team. <laughs> like many posh girls and gypsies his age, Tom's first sexual experience was horse-related. <laughs> he didn't break his hymen with a powerful horse between his thighs, though. After practice, he used to get sucked off by the Filipino stable boy. <laughs> And Craig is a 40 year old male who is also divorced. And it's funny how much of a small world it is because you can think that Craig's hair and his ex wife ended up the same way. Blowing away on his best friend's bathroom floor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Craig, when you're dieting and you have a cheat day, do you know that name that after your ex wife? <laughs> <laughs> Stillborn Vin Diesel. <laughs> you look like 
like your mother got six months through pregnancy and thought, fuck it, that'll do. <laughs> Judges, you have final say in who gets eliminated, but you guys decide first. Now, I want you, instead of cheering, who for the person you want eliminated, okay? So, we'll start from this side. Boo, if you think Corey Fernandez should be eliminated. Still your mate, weird. Uh, boo, if you think Tom Wickham should leave. Same mate, it's weird. Uh, and boo, if you think Craig McLeod should leave. Judges will decide who leaves, but they are putting up that. <laughs> judges, who do you think should leave the stage? Uh, like Other than me, who do you think should leave the stage? I feel like the crowd spoke. <laughs> the crowd spoke, but uh, uh, just a, a little bit of technique. So, Tom, I loved how you attacked both the roses at the exact same time. That is something that the other roses didn't do. Really like that. Uh, you did, Corey did stumble a bit. I thought Craig was going to overtake you but you somehow stood back up, and Craig, I am s disappointed I lost against you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, okay, this has been wonderful. It's been <laughs> wonderful. Oh, Craig, I, I, I gotta tell you, if you're gonna get up there looking like the treasurer of the Aryan Brotherhood, <laughs> you, got, you gotta bring the noise, man. Yeah? You gotta bring the noise. So who did you vote for? I voted to, 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 to take Craig away from the... Uh, okay, Eric, right. it doesn't really matter, but who do you think? It never matters, Caesar. Uh, That's why I put you on last, yeah. Wait, uh, I, um... Yeah, you know, it's weird. I guess, it, uh, yeah, clearly, Craig, you, you sucked. I think that... Uh, <laughs> no, it was close. So, uh, Craig, like, uh, it, was, it was funny watching you guys go. Tom, you, Tom had a great performance. And Craig, it was cool. I liked the jokes, but you were reading them so long, it just felt like, a, you know, they say reading helps you go to sleep, and it makes sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> and Corey brought all of these like sponsors for his work release program, so let's keep it up. Well, unfortunately, Craig, you are the However, what no one knows other than me is that you're now on the judges' table. Oh. You can decide what you're going to do Two lines each. It's a sun and death now. But I've got a few quick announcements before we do that, so you guys have time to chill out a little bit. Now, if you enjoyed the show, join Comedy on Edge on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Final battle. You guys ready? Two more lines each, and then the night's over. You don't have to leave the other now. You don't have to go, yeah? You can stay in the seats. It's alright. Ah, uh, 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 fuck you guys. Uh, thank you for coming, I appreciate your money. Alright.
more about Tom. Tom really idolises his grandfather. He used to work for the government. And his grandfather also used to steal from work too. But you can't take indigenous children from their families anymore. <laughs> the lives out of Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I don't know who's destroyed more black fans in Australia, Tom's grandfather or Bundy Rum. <laughs> uh, being a, a strict Christian, Corey spent a lot of his summer youths at a Pray the Gay Away camp. Uh, <laughs> at camp, Corey was voted most likely to succeed. Unfortunately, Sid couldn't be here this evening. Uh, Corey, you're like a pair of antique cufflinks your grandfather left you. Unlikely to come out of the closet until your father's funeral. <laughs> At least my grandfather didn't take them off black people's wrists. <laughs> I think I need the hug after this. So. <laughs> All right, so guys, you guys have fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so now for the 2019 tournament, who's gonna win? You guys decide. You did it better, and then you go to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Think Tom can do it better. <laughs> did it better. Very 50-50. <laughs> Judges. Wow, I mean, that was amazing. This is what you come here to see. This is, this is Tom and Corey. Great job. And I, I, I love watching you. I love your proportions. You <laughs> You look like an ethnic Lego man. <laughs> and, and, and you, young Ted Bundy. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time off from touring with the National to be here tonight. <laughs> I think you both did an excellent job, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna have to give it to you, Tom. All right, one point for Tom. Eric, oh man, who am I gonna give it to? Corey, you look like you puck your lips while on leg day. And Tom, <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom was, uh, that was a brilliant, that was great, man. Tom, I definitely think you won. Go fuck the help, man, you did a good job. <laughs> uh, you're, you're gonna, I'm just gonna watch you masturbate while you choke yourself. So have fun. <laughs> I felt like I just watched The Purge because I just saw a rich white guy kill an ethnic dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's getting paid for it. <laughs> man, but fucking wicked, man. You laser eyed vision just took his soul out, man. <laughs> took that soul. And Craig? Cheers. Um, well, you know, Tom is a cunt, so I think <laughs> that that is perfect for the roast battle, and I think he deserves to win, yeah, so I'll go with Tom as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, looks like our winner, Tom wins! Is there anyone you want to challenge for the next Royce battle? Well, I think we all know that Gavin Scott should have been up here instead of Craig McLeod, so... <laughs> I, uh, I'm very worried about taking on a man of his girth. <laughs> uh, I'll challenge uh, Gav next. Gavin, do you accept? I'll fuck her if I do.
like, share and subscribe to Comedy on Edge where all the roast battles will be happening. Leave a comment below and tell us who you thought was better at roasting. See you next time.